are not the only and they're not only affecting farming. TVJ's Janella Pursuits explains. Treasure Beach St. Elizabeth, arguably the jewel in the crown of the breadbasket parish where community tourism is big business. After years of lobbying, the Tourism Enhancement Fund, TEF, injected over $20 million for road enhancement. Thankful as some business operators are, they argue that the work done so far is but a drop in the bucket. Adrian Sutherland is a tour guide. We know the guys on the beachfront now that have to deal with the tourists. Like when they're going to go on a tour from a certain area, we have to pick them up by boat. We cannot drive and pick them up and, and carry them because of the road. This is one of the roads to which he's referring. It's in Fort Charles. It proved too rocky even for our new steam as we made our way through the area. And there's lots to see. Residents pointed us to wildlife plus what many visitors to the island come for. Sun, sea and sand. I think it should be done all the way to Crane Road, Black Road, mm -hmm. through Fort Charles. So then it's easy for the tourists to go in and out by the beach side. Instead of all the way around Barber Hall, new and are coming. And there's potential for investment on there. There's a lot, hundreds of acres of land in that area. And the investors have been showing an interest. That's according to Councillor for the Pedro Plains Division, Jeremy Palmer. There are people who own property there who would like to, to do some investment um, in, in cottages. But the roads need to be improved and we need to get the water supply down there. In fact, he's of the view that the entire South Coast needs to be developed so that tourism can flourish. I put in a plea for the road to the Sangster Airport. Going through um, communities like Witton and Hado and those areas, we need... If people are going to come here, they're going to have to come through the airport. And that's the airport of choice, both for the citizens here and the visitors. So we need to have a general look on the South Coast roads. But with people living in parishes island-wide bemoaning deplorable road conditions, it may be a while before the roads in Treasure Beach will be fixed. Shanella Press News, TVJ News.